Oh, hi, Doctor. How are you? Parker! Exciting news. Come by the lab. Uh, like now? This is my defining moment. Can't wait to show you. Cool. Um, I've got dinner plans. Can I come by later? Dinner can wait. You need to see this, Peter. Uh, okay. Uh, be right there. Wonder if this means I have a job again. Guess I can stop by. Just for a minute. Officers are taking fire from demons. Backup needed in the meatpacking district. Over. Hey, Doctor. Hello, Peter. I'll be just a minute. Look at all this new stuff. Hmm. Interesting method of structural reinforcement. In some sad, sick way, the City Hall attack may have done some good. Norman's approval ratings are sinking. The people are starting to realize their beloved mayor only cares about himself. Sometimes it takes a tragedy to wake people up to the truth. To finally see the monster they themselves elected. Wish Doc wouldn't fixate on Norman like this. Really glad Doc let me store things here after the whole eviction thing. Oh, Peter! I noticed you keep track of Spider-Man's foes. Smart. Easier to craft countermeasures that way. Gonna miss that humorless grimace. Huh. Electro was the first legit super-powered villain I fought. Till then it had been regular guys in fancy suits. Electro was a big change. Big change. Vulture might be the smartest guy up on this wall. Not smart enough to duck three consecutive life sentences, of course, but still pretty brainy. Last time I fought Scorpion, he asked if I knew what my skull looked like from the inside, then offered to show me. Super fun guy. Mob Enforcer turned walking tank. Rhino's racked up enough property damage to destroy Manhattan three times over. It's the late nights in this lab. Glad Doc keeps the snacks stocked up. We should get more of those little cheese squares, though. Parker, we've been focused on limb replacement. Connecting nerves at severed extremities, replicating the function of lost appendages. But what if instead, we gave people something they've never seen? Something straight from the mind. Unchain all of us from the bodies we've been born with, and instead, unleash the awesome power of our minds. Where did you get all this equipment? Called in every last favor. Took out a few loans. It's like we're starting over once again, but this time's going to be different. In some sad, sick way, the city hall attack may have... You've been busy.
just getting started. You know, until now, we've been looking at prosthetics from the wrong perspective. Why restore people to what they were when we can make them better? Okay, I think that should do it. Ready? Everything okay? Damn it! This is all your fault, Norman, you son of a- Well, I know who you're not voting for in the next election. Sorry. I uh, have a habit of making bad jokes in tense situations. <laughs> uh, it was a good joke, Parker. Just a bit of an overreaction on my part. No, don't worry. Uh, why don't you take a break? I'll, uh, I'll clean this up and uh, get us ready for another test. So, uh, hope you don't mind me asking, but it seems you and Norman have a bit of a history. We were lab partners in college. Became friends. Decide to start a business. We both had visions of changing the world just in different ways. Wait, you were at Oscorp when it started? I'm half the reason it's called Oscorp. In grad school, everyone called us the O's. Uh, add Corp to that and, well, it is a catchy name. Well, why'd you leave? Norman became more and more obsessed with genetics. He started a project I considered unethical. And there was this... Anyway, lawyers got involved. I chose to leave in exchange for a settlement. But that money didn't last very long. I've relied on grants ever since. If this project doesn't work... Don't worry. It'll work. Uh, let, me, let me just fix this up. I'll brew some fresh coffee. Be sure to run a diagnostic on the control unit. Could be a short. Huh. No good. Gotta reroute this circuit. Why don't you do the honors this time? I think we did it. Next step, neural interface. That's a lot of work for you to do by yourself. Sure you can handle it? Apparently not, judging by today's debacle. Because I still haven't found another job. My funds are still... I know. It's okay. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. What's a few bucks when you're trying to change the world, right? To changing the world. I 
missed a call from MJ. Doctor, I need to go, but I'll be back later. Don't worry, the work will still be here when you get back. Neural interface would be a big step, Doc. Big, yes, but essential. If our prosthesis is anything less than effortless to use, we'll have failed. We'll get there, Peter. We have to. You know, the micro cables we use to simulate musculature could easily be arranged into simple shapes. Wrenches, hammers, a toolbox literally at your fingertips. Don't know if I'm comfortable with some of these funding sources. All science is built on risk. Better to embrace it than run from it. Doc really does want to imagine a better version of man. Advanced idea mechanics? Doc, are you sure it's a good idea to accept grants from AIM? Your rep is pretty shady. Beggars can't be choosers, Peter. Once we're on our feet, we'll reevaluate our funding partners. What's that? What is this stuff, Doc? Looks like armored plating. Defense prototypes. Fascinating, really. AIM has requested a number of samples of my work. Who am I to deny that my genius? Ha! Kidding, of course. Duck's working on some kind of advanced hypodermic delivery system. Maybe to help with implant rejection? I don't know, that's a big needle. Wait. Is this the raft? Are you doing work for the Supermax prison? Indeed. They're soliciting bids to modernize their security grid. Figured I'd try my hand. Lucrative contract, and a satisfyingly difficult nut to crack. Hey, sorry I missed your call. We still on for dinner? Dinner? Oh, yeah. I was calling you about something else, but yeah, we should talk over dinner. Offer still stands for me to come over and cook. Oh, really? Well, I like to take risks. I'm still out, but I'll grab some stuff at the store and let you know when I'm home. Okay, talk soon. All right, dinner at MJ's. Low expectations. It'll be hard to screw this one up. I guess I'll just freelance for a while until she calls. I got an interesting tip today. Remember that barbaric beast named the Rhino? Apparently last night he almost escaped from his cell in the raft. How, you ask? Well, no one there seems to know, but they assure me he's been relocated to a more secure cell. Now, I'm no expert on Supermax prisons, but isn't the whole point Excuse of me. them... Pardon me? ...that there isn't anything else more secure? I mean, he's a 700-pound maniac with an indestructible horn! If there's a more secure cell, why wasn't he in it? <laughs> 